Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Saints gaming event for the ages. I'm Matthias, also known as Mothize, and I'm joined by Daniil Betterson McGee Brown. How are you doing today? I don't know what it is, Matthias. I'm feeling powerful. I feel like there's <laughs> like an aura of just like lights emanating from the right side of my face. Not from you, no offense, but like I feel like there's just like a <laughs> no very offense. strong presence in the area. But before we get to that presence, I want to get to you guys at home and tell you what's going on. We are going to be featuring the St. Clair College Green Rocket League squad going against Illinois State University in the NACE Super Conference. A lot of big things going on over there. Exactly. NACE Super Conference sh showing off some super matches so far. It's been amazing games across the board. The green team has had an absolutely amazing run so far. And, you know, what more do we have to say? Let's oh. hear from some of the players themselves. We have Zai joining us here on Hello. the desk. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great today. Awesome, awesome. You look like you're feeling great. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, hair is on point today. You look locked in and ready to go. I know the first match, there's a little bit of nerves here and there, of course, being on stream for the first time. You guys did very, very well. How are you feeling going into this next match against Illinois State University? Um, we're feeling pretty confident. We got a warm scrum just now. We've pretty, we felt pretty good. Like uh, l last week when we had the warm scrum, we didn't feel as good, so we like was a bit shaky the first series, but now today we feel pretty confident. Exactly, exactly. Absolutely. And I want to ask, what role does your like coach play in that confidence? So what kind of preparatory work? Maybe not just your coach necessarily, but mm -hmm. your whole team as a whole practice obviously but what goes into a practice that you think makes it really valuable as a team to come together for a game like this to make sure you're playing at 100 percent um i think like the coach is, is like taking the mental part of the game for us because like james and i have a lot of experience already so we can kind of like coach ourselves a bit already so the coaches are like kind of just getting us on the on the track again for, for example like some of like just get into like a bit of troll mood or something they just mm. bring us back into serious mode just full try hard <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what I do best. Yeah. Yeah. Players <laughs> love doing that. They love sabotaging yeah. themselves. I've exactly. had my guys like, oh, I'm just going to jab only this round. I'm like, no, you're not. No, no. You got to stay on a track. So is there anything in particular you're feeling worried about going up against Illinois State University? If you um, had to say anything. Or are you today, feeling very confident? Yeah, we, we scrimmed them once. Like, I think it was one or two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And they were kind of crazy. They're like, just go for the ball a lot. So we need to watch out for that a bit. Like, so like adapt a bit. Just let them come in, like, force 50s, maybe low 50s or something. That's what we need to watch out for today. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you got to play a little bit more defensively. You yeah, know, play exactly. a little bit yeah. more. Bait them in. A little careful. Yeah, 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 you can't go for the eco play. You got to yeah, stay exactly, in check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, <laughs> exactly. I have one last question for you, you off. Mm -hmm. I know the team's waiting. I want to get into the game. You know, what, <laughs> what was the inspiration bet uh, besides, like, your hairstyle? Like, what really <laughs> drew it to you going for the yellow? And the brown on the sides like i see that a lot was there any specific yeah. inspiration for you um not really i just tried a lot of things i like had <laughs> pink as well already then oh, i, had, uh, okay, then I went right. for purple and i was like i just let it bleach out like yeah. the one like <laughs> the sun just bleached it out like and then the sun out like this and i was like okay this looks pretty it good it looks so. good it looks the sun good. did yeah. it for him yeah, that can be my new excuse yeah. the, the, sun sun, the sun was my inspiration <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully the sun shines down upon you tonight, yeah. and oh, yeah. good luck in your game. Thank you very much Thank for you. joining us. Thank you. Good luck. Ooh, I get a handshake, too. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> right, no one is left out. Right. Thank you very much. And now, after hearing that, what are we thinking, Daniil? Looks well, seems very confident, very locked in, but also <laughs> temperamental. He's ready. He's tempered. And prepared for this next fight. Wow, Jazzy looks locked in as well. He's calm. You know, I've been noticing we've got a lot of Germans on the campus now. And one thing I've noticed about them, not to, not to lump them all into one group, but like they have this uh, element of just serenity at all times. You'll never see these guys shaken up or confused or lost. They're just like so focused. Like even Alonzo, like that guy, you'll never see him shaken up if you even see him at all. He's very elusive. But still, um, these guys are playing so focused, so cold, so ready for anything. And really... That's all you need as a team. That keeps you grounded, keeps you level-headed, and keeps you playing according to plan. Exactly. Especially in Rocket League, you don't want to fly off that wheel and get far too aggressive. Especially with Illinois State University, it seems like, from what he was saying, their aggression outpaces their own. Yeah. They cannot go bar for bar on that <laughs> aggression. They need to play a little bit more defensively, a little bit more tricky to try and counteract mm -hmm. those pushes they're going to be making. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think, especially in a game like Rocket League, you were talking a little bit before, every second matters, every play matters, and you need to be sure that you're playing at your mental uh, baseline. You have to make sure you're doing things that you agreed with with your team, or else you're going to throw them off. And once they're thrown <laughs> off, then your third guy gets thrown off. Everybody's confused. And if that even happens for a second, you're getting at least one or two goals scored on you. And then that's going to tilt you. It's going to throw everyone off even more. And it's just... You don't want that to happen at all, right? So you want to make sure that everybody's on the same page, communicating, playing focus, and ready to go at all points. Speaking of being on the same page, let's get some predictions here and see Oof. if we're feeling the same way. What do you think? 3-0, baby. 3 -0? Oh, wow. They're, they're impatient. They want to go. I'm, <laughs> I, hey, you know what? I, it's a school night, right? I know. I had an 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. class today, so <laughs> fair enough. I'm feeling a little tired. But the excitement from Rocket League has reinvigorated me. I think, I think we might be in for a 3-1. I'm confident in these guys. I believe okay. in them. But Illinois State University is no slouch. It seems like if they falter even just a little bit, if they let them get those aggressive plays in there, it's going to be a very tough game. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, one other thing I just noticed uh, with PZY, he has the Gengar necklace. I wish I wore my Gengar shirt True. today. I didn't be wear matching. it. Yeah, that's next time. a missed opportunity. Well, I don't know if I'm going to have him up here next time or if he's going to be true. wearing it. I'm gonna, I'll coordinate with him. Well, tell him to flash it to the camera next time <laughs> so he to show the Gengar support. <laughs> yeah, Gengar school, I guess. A lot of people here like Gengar, but what they like more, you know, better for worse, is Rocket League. And hopefully we'll be getting into some Rocket League action here soon enough for you, ladies and gentlemen. St. Clair College Green versus Illinois State University. Again, in the NACE Super Conference. It's called Super Conference for a reason. It's, it's not super. just for flavor. This is is oh. the place to be in for all schools playing in NACE. And, hey, we have one team in here, and I'm sure they're going to do some uh, tearing up if they have anything to say about so it. So as well, let's go through the lineup here. We got Shuffle as the coach there, providing the support for the team, mm -hmm. keeping everybody level in check and ready to go. Of course, we have Jazzy over there on the left, locked in, ready to go. We have Fabso in the middle over there, and we have Zai over on the the right not playing today right now it's the guy over on the left but i'm pretty sure he plays a little bit more of a supportive role yeah, he's right also a well. coach i believe yes uh not his in-game name oh okay not officially a coach but he is <laughs> a more advice giving person <laughs> one thing for sure is i remember during the boot camp they both introduced themselves as coaches and they yeah. kind of talk about how they support their teams so for sure and realistically in a team game like Rocket League I think everybody's a little bit of a coach mm -hmm. uh, inside of them like <laughs> even uh, PZY said Sai he, he said that they kind of coach themselves in a lot of different ways, but sometimes you need an external voice to do the same for you. And I know. You sometimes you have some own, your own advice you want to give yourself. <laughs> we got to make sure it's correct. Absolutely. <laughs> And uh, speaking of making sure it's correct, I hope I'm correct when I say we're going into game one of St. Clair College versus Illinois State University of the NACE Super Conference, and it's already getting pretty heated. We see that we're playing just over in front of St. Clair College Green's net, but now we're, moved, we're rotating right back over to Illinois State University's Jazzy, holding the ball still. No mansion, trying to take that back over to the center. Fabzo catching it midair, taking to the ground side, returning the favor. Cosmic's going to meet it midair, bounce it over. Over his roof. Jazz is keeping it on left side, bringing it right back to the corner now. Bring it right back to the middle. CG going for an absolutely amazing play, and that's the aggression we just saw there. A play into a demo is absolutely amazing. Now that ball's right up in the air. Saints trying to gain control right back. Carrying it towards that blue goal side on the defense. That Fabso with the disruption. CG keeping that ball striking true, but it's not going to be good enough as Jazzy takes it into his own hands. Going to try and get a dribble off the ground, get a nice setup there. It's just a little bit off the mark, but Fabso sees Ooh. the angle, almost gets an amazing shot. Yeah, that was a really, really close one there. Honestly, the speed that he had going into it might have been the main hindrance, causing it to bounce a little too hard. But speaking of bouncing, it's right in front of the Saints net. Cosmic almost setting it up for a perfect goal, but it's going to get sent out by the Saints once more. Going back towards the center, Jazzy trying to intercept. Not going to get quite there, but he is going to be able to make the save ultimately. Bobzo finding the perfect opportunity to beam that ball right out of it, but it's going to get sent back. Jazzy there to catch it as it makes its way towards the net. Sai meeting it. Oh, you got to be a 50 to beat CG, but it's going to get sent back to the center and over to the corner once again. Eventually, Sai trying to make it back. Back to the center. Once more, CG going for a shot, but Fabzo with the perfect save. Now, Sai trying to take it back to over uh, over to Illinois State University, but unfortunately, it's going to get halted. <laughs> it's just a constant back and forth. I feel like every time I say they're clearing it, it's another shot. Jazzy with another save, and now Illinois State University is scrambling to get back into the defensive position. 
Scramble is the right word there. Jazzy going to scramble that one right into the net almost, but no man, she's going to be playing a perfect defense. And now Cosby getting it right back into his hands. The double demo on both wow. sides is going to shake up the game. And now Jazzy going to be right there in the corner with Zai. No Mansion putting up a lot of pressure. Jazzy needs to get this one out there. Cosmic going for the finishing touch. Can't get it. And now it's passed back over to CG. But Zai doing a good job at keeping this ball on that orange side. Nice setup by Fab. So good disruption from Cosmic. And now things are just absolutely chaotic. Very, very chaotic, and nothing gets crazier than a demo coming out from a shot attempt, lining it up, going for the shot clear with one man down. Not much you can do to make any kind of risky plays. You want to play it safe, and if you're trying to play it safe while they're holding the ball in front of your net, that's going to lead to a goal. It's a 50 ultimately, and sometimes you get it wrong. Illinois State University taking this 1-0, 2.19 on the clock. 2.19 on, on the clock. We are a little over halfway through this game two minutes it's not a lot of time to make this a big lead but they can maybe tie this one up in time let's see it looks like they're going to be going a little bit more aggression the limiters are off gas pedal to the metal we're going to be running out of gas soon enough as cosmic is at zero boost back up to 100 here pops out making an amazing play you get blocked out by cosmic jazzy go for an amazing slam side find that one in the air take control of the ball for his team trying to play here no mansion disrupt that one up cg getting a nice dink off the top of jazzy there keep the ball control in blue's favor as i say that cosmic just keeping up the aggression they were so right with saying they love the chase they love going for these crazy aggressive plays non-stop non-stop is probably the best word to use here although we had a little bit of a stop there no mansion putting that stop to a stop going for that center once again jazzy gonna deny it cg trying to reignite that fire but pzy sending it over no interception with a splash shot tying it up one to one 112 on the clock saints are back in this series and they don't want to go down without a fight Beautiful control from Zai there. He found that perfect angle, did the trigonometry, and caught that one lining it straight up into the net. 1-12 left on the clock. It's 1-1. One, one. I'm seeing so many ones on the board right now. Let's see who's going to be the one to take this. I think the ones to make this game one into a 1-0 for the series to break the tie from 1-1 one one with one minute remaining is probably going to be St. Clair College Green. As we spoke to one of their players just a little bit before and with the mentality that they have going to the series and what they have to prove as a team with all the weight on their shoulders, I think they wouldn't want to disappoint the fans for this one. But still, it's a very tough team to be playing against Illinois State University for your first match. They're no slouches, so they have a lot of work to do if they want to accomplish that goal. Try and accomplish a goal of their own soon enough. They're going to keep up the aggression. A nice demo. Net is open, but there's too much chaos there for them to find a good opening. No mansion putting it off the ceiling with CG. They're trying to turn it around themselves, but there's too much pressure from the Saints. If the Saints can get a goal here, this could be game. It's such little time left on the clock. But Sai and Jazzy are going for an amazing play. Whoa. And an amazing save comes out from Cosmic. And now, ten less than 10 seconds remaining. Time is taken. Whoa. And the Saints get a Another goal. I feel like I was just watching, I don't even know, an ant farm. I guess that's the closest parallel. Like, you see one guy digging a tunnel, like, where's this guy going? And you see another guy on the other side of the ant farm digging another tunnel. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but eventually you blink, and next thing you know, the tunnels are connecting. You're like, how did they even coordinate that? They can't see anything, right? But they just made that work. They were just swishing and swishing all around each other, and ultimately, it just worked out to be the perfect wow. play that they needed to not only get a goal, but break the tie and win game one against Illinois State University. Couldn't have played that better, if you ask me. No, and it makes you feel like, were they holding back that whole match just to give it their all there at the end? Because it did seem like it was much more in Illinois State's favor mm -hmm. for majority of that game. The Saints were on the back foot on the defensive side. But they played very patiently, let them gas themselves out, get all their plays out of the way. And the Saints then swooped in. I'm feeling a little tired. Now we're back, starting things off hot. They're not too tired just yet. Now, Demo comes out from No Mansion onto Jazzy. Sai gonna try and trick this one out, but CG wins the 50. Over to Fab, so net is wide open. Sai trying to find an opening here, but can't like, make it back in the corner from Orange. They still have to find the clear. It's still being threatened. It's an absolutely interesting 
start for the Saints, but nonetheless, it's looking a little bit deadlocked. Oh, right? wow. Yeah, deadlocked, but almost just stole that one away like he was flying on a magic carpet across the map there. Took that one away from the net. Now bring it back over to Saints side. Jazzy, the one to defend Whoa. it. He finds it, not letting anybody get in his way. He's the man to beat here in the net, and they couldn't beat him even if they tried with two. And now he's gonna, even going to get a demo. Really assert himself here. Four minutes on the clock now. No goals yet. But the Saints still carrying the momentum from that game one. And I don't see them slowing down anytime soon as they already made their way back over to Illinois State side. Jazzy kind of keeping this in the air. No match trying to contest him. He keeps him on that wall, preventing him from getting a good and clear center. He's still going to be able to play with the scraps, though. Sai catching that one, keeping it up in the air. No follow-up. Actually, Jazzy trying to meet it in the air. But a 50 is going to be the way it's going to go to the side of Illinois State University. Babzo trying to get that ball back over to Orenside, preventing them from clearing it, stuffing it. Now he has the task of carrying it forward. Jazzy's going to go oh. for the shot. It doesn't even matter what Fabza was doing. That goal found its way regardless. <laughs> Jazzy living up to his name. It's like watching reformed Jazz take a place. He finds it. He's crazy. No, it's these crazy plays from out of nowhere. It looks a little scattered. It looks a little chaotic. But when it all comes together into a beautiful goal like that, it's any, you can't call it anything other than music. Here we are. Wow. Three minutes and 30 seconds remaining left on the clock. A good lead for the Saints. They're going to try and turn it into another one. Babso. Play on the defense. No man should back for the vengeance. Jazzy getting a demo. No man should getting a crazy setup here. Can it get defended out? And it can wow. by Jazzy. Jazzy doing overtime here. I just want you guys to know, they're not making those last second saves to one fantasy. It's essential, because if you commit too early, uh-oh, no mansion, <laughs> kind of fumbles the ball there, was right at the end zone, but just fell before he reached it. Unfortunate play, but Illinois State University maintaining the pressure, going for another shot towards Saint side. Now, Sai trying to beat that ball on the wall. CG is going to beat him to it. Jazzy with another interception, letting that ball loose. Jazzy not going to meet it in time, though. No man is going to get that steal with Bobzo down. Nobody's in the net, but wow. Sai finds his way there. Bobzo back with the respawn. Jazzy's out now, too. It's a fest, and that ball going straight for the net, but Sai <laughs> meets it once again, tipping it back up to the post. Now he's meeting it just above CG, looking for a patient shot, not going to find it, but he at least going to be able to get it stuffed. Cosmic with the backup, Bobzo clearing it out once and for all. Now Illinois State on the back foot, Bobzo carrying it forward, it's going to get demoed, but it's rolling slowly. Sai now going back to the defense, stuffing it once more, but it goes flying, Bobzo! A little too slow, tying it up one to one. That was anybody's game there, and they managed to steal it out in the end. Very impressively done indeed. Great play by CG there to get the amazing play, the demo into the goal. 1-1, one, one, two minutes remaining. Illinois State getting a goal. Looking to keep up the momentum. Yeah. What? Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I hate. But hey, maybe the momentum swung right back the other way. Jazzy getting the kickoff. Game is game. Sometimes it just happens, right? You want to play aggressively, like we mentioned, and Illinois State University, that's what they're known for, at least to the Saints in the previous scrim. But sometimes, you you know, you get caught with your pants down, and if it's in the kickoff, it happens. Uh, unfortunate, but now they have the onus to tie the series, or tie this game, rather, to tie the series. And Jazzy, looking to be cosmic in the air, gonna use that tire bounce to his advantage. Another wall bounce, Jazzy there to meet the uh, reflection, but not quite gonna make it. Fabso getting bounced out of the way, CG. A lot of aggression coming out in a strong burst now. Jazzy bouncing off the wall once more. Fabzo on the back line side, on the left side here, waiting for an opportunity. Not going to come, though. Actually, no, Sai wow. finds one. Oh, Not going to so go close. in. Jazzy bouncing off the wall, looking for a center shot. Fabzo missing it. It's going to get bounced up by Illinois State, preventing them from shooting that one like an arrow straight to the net. Sai meeting it to the corner, bouncing off the top post. Fabzo for the rebound. Not quite ready yet. Sai and Jazzy forced on the retreat to meet the ball as Illinois State University chases it towards blue side. Side props are trying to get a setup there. A demo comes through on Fab. So Sai getting a nice setup with Jazzy off the wall, off the backboard, off the other player. Jazzy finds another amazing play. Look at that. Up in the air, gets the setup. He doesn't need the backboard, he needs Cosmic to get those amazing setups. <laughs> I don't know. What I mean, a play. I don't want to comment on that too much. I feel like it'd be rubbing salt in the wound. I think the play plays, I think it speaks for itself. That was incredible. Okay. That was incredible. And I would be feeling really bad if that happened to me, but 
it, it's the name of the game. You're playing with incredible players, and incredible players do incredible things to you sometimes. No Mansion looking to be one of those incredible players. They all are, but sometimes you gotta outshine yourself. Sometimes Cosmic in the corner now. Fabzo leading it, carrying it up. CG taking that clear attempt and bringing it straight to the center, but with a nice clear. He's gonna take that from their side into the net. Fabzo taking a clear and making it a shot. Four to one now, Illinois State University. They are really struggling right now, not even just to maintain an offense, but it seems to even maintain a defense. Exactly, it's really absolutely amazing to watch. It seems like St. Clair has found Illinois State University's number. 30 seconds left on the clock, we need a goal uh, every 10 seconds from Illinois State for them to make this one back up. But after such uh -oh. absolutely brutal plays, uh -oh. amazing. <laughs> Plays from the Saints. I don't know how it's going to even be possible. Well, 15 seconds on the clock. I think this is game two. Said and done in the history books. Illinois State University struggled to really make. Okay, come on. This is They're just padding the stats now. Right. I mean, it's a, it's a debut series for them. I mean, it's a debut season for them, rather. And uh, they want to look good. You know, Sean tells us that every boot camp every year was our best year ever. They want to keep that tradition going forward with more championships, more wins, more positive seasons. So, hey, I don't blame them. They want to make us look good, get us more funding eventually. You know, we appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your service in this game, too. Illinois State University fighting for their lives right now, and they are one game away from saying goodbye to a victory <laughs> He's saying hello to a victory thing goodbye True. to yes. their opponent but wow it seems like every game there's a point where they just like hit a wall mm -hmm. and they break past it they hit their limit break and they are just absolutely unstoppable yeah that wall's I name mean, is jazzy yeah exactly exactly built in poland <laughs> oh yeah but <laughs> absolutely amazing plays like look at that that one is one for the ages right there. I mean, he's, he's, hey, his profile picture makes sense. He really has to have some shine on for that. Like, you can't just do something like that as a normal human being. And the look at that one. Yeah, I think the kickoff goal is where it all really solidified mm. it for the Saints. Maybe. Illinois State was feeling down and out already, and then just it slipped through like a needle. They thread the needle on that one. Just absolutely amazing play. Very, very well done by Saints and, of course, Illinois State University. But as we come to our potential last game, looks like, you know, the boys in green want to prove Daniil right once more because Daniil is truly never wrong. Fair. Seems to be a common trend, but Jazzy now maintaining this uh, ball, keeping it soot where it is. Wants to be the defender of blue side. The bastion of hope. DZY meeting the ball midair. Oh, just misses the flip to send that towards the net. Bobzo meeting it midair once again. Trying to cradle it, but CG's gonna swoop it out of the cradle. Hush now, little baby, don't say a word. This ball is going to get sent to the other side of the field. CG meeting it midair once again. Bobzo almost just missing it, but Sai ready to catch it on the ground. Cosmic taking us to another galaxy here, but Jazzy into another dimension as he rockets towards Orange with the pass to Bobzo, but he's gonna get demoed. The only reason the ball did not just get sent 100 light years into the future was because of that demo, an immaculate play from Illinois State University. Absolutely amazing play, Bobzo going up off the roof, passing to Zai. Cosmic gonna get a disruption there, but it's right back still going towards their net. Now Zai gonna find that opening there. Trying guard CG, finds a little opening there. Big disruption from Swap, so that ball is popped up. Jazzy knocks it back down, no mansion. Try and get it. that ball heading towards that net, but it's not gonna quite work out. CG doing everything he can to stop this from happening, trying to go for a setup of their own. And a nice double bounce, but Zai gets an amazing clear. Yo, okay, that was rough Whoa. and brutal, but Fobso returns to favor. They showed them how you make that kind of play work. In mid-air, no less. Wow. Look at that. Illinois State University went for something just like that. They just couldn't seal the deal, but the Saints just immediately flipping the script and now taking the lead in this game three of this best of five. Now Illinois State University struggling for an answer, and hey, at least they didn't lose immediately in the kickoff once again. 
least they didn't lose. Uh, getting a beautiful setup. Ooh, beautiful block from CG, though. Now Jazzy passing it back and forth. We'll play the defense carefully here. The State is known for these crazy plays, but Zai getting a beautiful setup of his own. Oh, the double bounce would have been crazy, but didn't quite land there. Off the top, Fopso going for a setup with Zai. A little too aggressive for both of them. Double bounce. Cosmic, though, going to get the clear. Jazzy continuing the aggression. They don't want to let this ball get to this blue side, but it has, and it might hit the net, but it doesn't, because Zai always gets the clear. It's like Sai is just a, a, a hornet stinger, and the ball is an unsuspecting child's leg. It's just oh my God. flying towards it without a care in the world. Now No Mansion taking to the corner, waiting for it to fall down, but sometimes you gotta have initiative. Teammate sending it flying towards him, back up into the air. Jazzy meeting it, keeping it back on orange side, flying to the corner. No Mansion's there to meet it, bouncing it back up over to blue side. Bob is returning it back to the sender. See CG sending it down towards Fabzo, going for the shot. Cosmic ready to keep it out of the net. Jazzy is going wow. to send it right back, coming back off that rebound shot. Now going to be 2-0 in this game three. 2-0, two minutes remaining. Illinois State has to be feeling a little bit nervous here. Time is ticking, this is it. This is their do or die round right here. Game three, it's all on the line for them. They need to find something, dig deep, and find those aggressive plays that they're going for. Yeah, they are digging and digging and digging, but eventually your shovel runs out. You only have two minutes of shovel time left, and you can only dig so many holes. You have to find some treasure, but you can't make treasure out of thin air. You really have to just get lucky sometimes, and I feel like that is <laughs> an underappreciated element of Rocket League. It is 100% skill, but with so much skill and with everything just being on you and your teammates, luck inevitably crops up, and sometimes moments of ingenuity strike, moments of genius, and innovation just come out of nowhere Sai looking to be the next albert einstein physicist in the making but not quite bobzo trying to give him a second chance going back over to orange cosmic gonna let that one fly over cg is gonna take up the mantle of the new rocket scientist in rocket league but pzy meeting now bobzo coming on the right pzy on the left they're pincer shotting this one cosmic taking up into the sky jazzy so consistently ready to meet him there taking it back but CG ready to get the answer. It's a rebound fest. Now finally getting sent out of nowhere. Fabzo taking it back to orange side, meeting it off of the rebound from the wall to the ceiling to the ground. Once more, no mansion meeting it, sending back the blue cosmic with a nice shot. PZY with a nice defense. A shot coming out from the left, getting saved from the right. You can't get more classic than that. 39 seconds remaining. Illinois State University, they're clawing for a chance to bring it back. They are clawing for but Jazzy's looking for a beautiful setup and he gets it! Wow! The mid was Zai with a beautiful setup and now St. Clair has all but guaranteed their win in this series. I mean, what a beautiful setup. Zai finding the beautiful air carry. Jazzy just always ready. He was watching it like a hawk, waiting for his time to shine, waiting for his moment to play his little jazz solo as he does on his car here. But wow, a little bit of aggressive play with Illinois, so you can't rest on your laurels just yet. There's still 20 seconds left in the match. Anything can happen. Yeah, 15 seconds remaining. Now three seconds or th uh, three goals you need to get. And it's not looking likely. Fabzo inside, just playing with the ball, waiting for time to tick down. But that is going to be your series, ladies and gentlemen. St. Clair College 3-0 over Illinois State University. What a series. What a series indeed. Right. You were right. You're right. I'm a little bit of a naysayer. But can you blame me? In the first match, it looked very shaky for the Saints. I think they go in very calm, very reactive. Mm -hmm. But then at the end, they're like, I think we have it figured out. We're going to get a post-game interview. That's what Aiden's doing up there, getting someone <laughs> going over there. But anyways, <laughs> back to the game. Absolutely amazing plays all around. So many setups. I got to say Jazzy was the star player there, though. Oh, 100%. He was so reliant on the defense, so reliable, and on the offense. Once he got started, it was hard to stop him. He found so many amazing plays, so many beautiful setups. I mean... Zai had some crazy setups as well. And speak of the devil here. Oh, that's Fobso. Never mind. They both have bleach blonde hair. <laughs> right? I'm so I can't sorry. Blame you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're good. Welcome, Fobso, to the scene. How are you feeling about that game? 
completely destroyed them. N not to be like, <laughs> not, not to be like, like, not pushing my ego or like our egos, but like everything. You worked. did very, very well. Yeah. yeah. We we just synced on every level. We hit every shot. Not every, but you know. Every shot that you needed to. Ba basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a very impressive series. Uh, I predicted the 3-0. This guy predicted the 3-1. OK, just remember who's on your side good. here. Okay? Listen, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah, I'm, got, your side. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. <laughs> yeah, of course. I, I, I don't want to set it up too big. And then if it happens, it feels worse. But yeah. you know what? From now on, I'll go 3-0. You guys have earned it. Yeah, thank you. I mean, like, we don't set, like, this high expectations. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't need to smack them. We don't, like, a win is a win. Like, exactly. It just comes down to, like, how we play. And today, we played good. Nothing like to, nothing like to be ashamed of today. So mm -hmm. everything good, vibes uh, are good. I wanted to ask you personally now, seeing how one side of that series kind of felt at times. What do you think makes like the main difference between you know a three zero versus like a three two? Like what is a team's factor that really separates them from others, and what is your team's factor that separates you from other teams that allows you to be so dominant in certain series like that? I think for us it's just like the EU playstyle. I mean, you mm -hmm. saw it like the aerial bombs, the, <laughs> yeah. the Those passes, are insane. the fakes, yeah. like the low, like the fifties back to each other. Like we found each other. Like I feel like that's the the biggest difference for us, like against NA teams especially, but against EU teams as well. Like we're pretty confident with that play style. Yeah, NA teams often go for those like solo uh, plays, but you know, you see some absolutely insane setup so. plays yeah, from all of you. You guys have play. like so many interesting setups. Like I think it was Zai set up Jazzy in there. One of those last goals was just an absolutely insane across the map air carry. And they're like, Oh, that's that's not going in. We're gonna we're gonna try and play for the <laughs> for the clear. And yeah. then Jazzy just pops up, gets the final dink, sends it clear in. Like so many beautiful plays. Yeah, thank you, man. Like as I said, like we're feeling ourselves today. We find each other, Changing max. and like that's what that's what matters the most, I think. Absolutely. And before we send you right back into the pond that you came from, what kind of classes do you have tomorrow? Are you excited for them? <laughs> are they early classes? Um, I think we're in the same class together. Are you? Oh yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> a night, but we have to like it's uh, skip it early because we have also like uh, scrims. Oh, I don't. You know, we gotta prepare for the land like Fair. coming up. Like yeah. it's like we saw the teams. Like the land is gonna be. And like top four is only playoffs, so we really got to grind. Like all the EU teams are there, all the good NA teams are there, and I think like we need to prepare to get like to get the dub. Yeah. And to be fair, that class is scheduled like five to eight, but yeah, it, it doesn't go that yeah. long. It doesn't go that long. It doesn't go that long. But anyways, it was a joy having you here. Amazing plays, and I'm really excited to see how the rest of the NACE Super Conference goes for you guys. It was nice having you on, man. Thank you, man. Right. Remember who's on your side. Exactly. Have a nice end of your cast. <laughs> your Enjoy. Thank and you. Bye bye. Yeah, we'll see you later. But that's not all we have here at the Saints. Tomorrow, join us for League of Legends at 8:30 p.m. It's going to be Oklahoma Christian University versus St. Clara College in the Nace League. So I'm very excited to see that. Me too. But. We also have to prove our gratitude here. We have to thank everyone. We have to thank the viewers. Thank you very much for watching. We also have to thank our sponsors, Alienware, Tim Horton, Subway, the St. Clair SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association. And we also have to thank everybody here making this whole thing tick. We got to thank Amanda, the director in the back. Mm -hmm. We have to thank Aiden for observing and setting up the cameras. We have to thank you, Daniil, for joining me here on the desk. Thank Dan for getting us all organized here. And I thank Ari yes. for running our second stream on Saints Gaming CA2. I have no idea if that one's still going, but if I had to guess, it probably is, because that was a very quick Rocket League game. But with all that being said, everyone, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for League of Legends. Don't miss it. We'll see you then. Stay tuned.